The purpose of this session is to observe the, the closure of the number four bell. effect during the protrusion. So I try to make the upload maneuver. see the difference between the opening of the number four valve. This is quite clear. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to breathe a little bit. It's quite clear when the, the, the complete closure can be observed during the activity, during speech. So speech is important when looking at the number four valve. And the speech shows us the complete closure. And afterwards, you can uh, perform the upper maneuver and you can see the opening of the number four valve. But this opening is only very small. Then uh, the use of the procedure is uh, maybe of little effect. But uh, if you could see here, when, when performing the upper maneuver, there was a large difference. Okay. 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 Uh, this time I I forgot it to to snore correctly. <laughs> uh, but the snoring the, the snoring is uh, just the they show different forms of. Um, of uh, obstruction and uh, it's uh, not a complete continuous obstruction but a, a 
closure and opening, rapid closure and opening, which then produces the noises. So the snoring itself, and it can be done voluntary with open mouth and with closed mouth. The alcoholics. So the, please give me a few minutes until we feel it. Yeah. Or maybe, uh, or maybe, maybe in between. Okay, uh, you know, this is the uh, conventional endoscope, uh, 1995. And the speech uh, shows us uh, the complete closure. And afterwards, uh, you can uh, perform the upward maneuver and you can see the opening of the number four valve. If this opening is only very small, then uh, the use of the procedure is uh, maybe of little effect. But uh, <coughs> as if you could see here, when, when performing the applied maneuver, there was a large difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the snoring, the, the snoring is uh, just, they may show different forms of, um, of uh, obstruction and uh, it's a, not a complete continuous obstruction but a, a closure and opening rapid closure and opening which uh, produces the noises so the snoring itself and it can be uh, done voluntary with open mouth and with closed mouth and this is a 2.8 and this is a 2.5 this already uh, is a little bit a little bit uh, sufficiently small in order to not to uh, not to harm anything inside the nose. The endoscope uh, can be used in children, of course. And uh, I did a lot of endoscopy endoscopy with children. When checking the anatomy of the nose, uh, you should uh, place first uh, the endoscope in the in, in the entrance of the nose and uh, check uh, if there is any. Uh, any uh, septum deviation or swelling, swelling of the uh, of the of the turbulence. That's right. That we are going to do now. And uh, if the turbulence are, uh, are also checking the uh, lineage. The lineage. We also we can check with the with this endoscope very easily, because for uh, at the end it's, uh, it is not necessary to enter just to the you know, posterior part, of, but it can be done. Uh, Entering only a few mm -hmm. two, two centimeters, then it's already possible to have a good uh, mm -hmm. vision of the adenoids. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we'll have to do is uh, check the oh, okay. uh, the uh, effect of the uh, of the maneuver okay. and of the of the protrusion. Okay. Yes. Would you bring the script? Yeah. No. Oh. You, you got uh, you brought this. Uh, this is the, this uh, one. We need the split and uh, we also need a new. No. Yeah, this one. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, is to give you some uh, nasal spray. Yeah. Uh, to the nasal spray, just to uh, get an optimum you know, of, uh, of vision. Please uh, breathe through one nose and uh, then I decide which nose we are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Could you breathe more? So what? The one. The first one. Okay. The other one. You know the right. The right one is better. This one. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so interesting because usually this is stuck more, but uh, yeah. but now it's better. No, so, I, yeah. so the the nasal cycle. The, it's, it's a cycle. Yeah. It's an house in the climate. Yeah. This is a nasal spray. Would you be kind to give you just a uh, one puff? One. one puff. So it's vaso vasoconstrictor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, a <laughs> <laughs> That's sufficient. You wait. It's mine. No. Okay. <laughs> Take it or with will you reuse it? <laughs> Take it with you. Yeah. Okay. That's new. Just well, to, uh, to blow your nose. Yeah, I did already. Like okay. Uh, oh, one, one. Right. It's in the official. <laughs> it's in the official. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when I get.
using it. I have to put a mask. And then you may you know, take some anesthesia if you want to. You know, there is some spray. Now, I usually do not uh, you know, use anesthesia, but you know, if you feel some discomfort, you, know, you may you know, put it. I, I prefer to, to check it just uh, okay. how it is. And uh, then we. Yeah, you this <laughs> okay, please lean back. And then we may have a look at the It's okay or not? Okay. Okay. Oh, no. so CPR, maybe. So maybe you uh, you prefer some uh, some anesthesia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you? So if you want to go even further than this one, yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, you have to method. Please do not freeze. Do not freeze. And leave it there. Wow. Yeah, it's there. It's cold. <laughs> Blow your nose, please. The septum deviation. Mm -hmm. Are you recording the video, Victor? In the endoscope? Unfortunately, not. Mm -hmm. But you can, if you want. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, please say ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Again, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Mm hmm. And breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. This is uvula? Yeah. Mine is so the, short. It's normal? The, the, yes, of course. Okay. The, you look at it from, from above. The, please show our patient the, the picture. It's important. You want, to, you want to see inside? Open your eyes. Please. Want to look inside? This is, if you say, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, in A E A E A E A E A E A E. Perfect. And now please put the, right the screen down. And now, now please detect the vacuum activator. You have to clean it. Uh, wash, wash, wash. wash it, wash it. And please. Uh, you can take it from there. No water. Please uh, put your, uh, your mandible forward, mandible forward, and mandible back, and uh, make up. Like your yes, like your Yes, and mandible forward, and oh. back, like right your teeth. Wow. Mandible forward, and back. So forward and back, forward and back, and back your teeth, please. Okay, now put the vacuum activator. Okay, please put negative pressure and breathe. And breathe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still working. Mm -hmm. You see? So, More than the last one. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. this one. So, breathe deeply. Okay, very good. And open your mouth. And, uh, mm -hmm. and please activate it. And breathe deeply. 
population. So, and put your, you know, your mandible forward, mandible forward. That's difficult to do, eh? Mm -hmm. And activate again. Yes, the, like the, the scar the, or something? No, this no, is no, no. This is only you know, irregular. Uh -huh. Have you had a uh, an electrometry? Hmm? The edema. Or... Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so yeah. yes. yeah. The scar is there. Yeah. 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 Put the splint, please. The Where is the splint? The, 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 the box. It's still uh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Don't forget to ask her to uh, imitate the snot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. I can imitate. Yeah. Well, yeah. Which is what I do. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, With the mouth open or the mouth closed? Shut. Mouth, mouth closed. Yeah, mouth closed. Okay. And this one, which is whiter, is that the septum or it's curved? Yeah. No, this here is the scar yeah. also. No, this is this is only a no, it's something else. The scar. The scar. scar. So this is the situation with the splint. Mm -hmm. Try to try to snore. Yeah. Okay, and make the outward maneuver. Yeah. The, the, the swallow. Top. No, no, yeah. oh, no. Please. Swallow if you put it on the upper. Swallow. It is, you know, could you please uh, put this uh, device uh, before? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So these are trying to make uh, to activate the negative pressure and breathe. Okay. This is the, the position. I wish I will share you. No, no, but that was easier in the way. It's very important to have this in. Mm -hmm. And breathe quietly. Breathe quietly. Okay. It depends on the position, on the position of the skirt. You know, how the how the airway can be in the object. Can she try to snore? Okay. With the splint and okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, try to snow again. Last one. And open with open mouth. And you know, grab your teeth. It's impossible. Okay, I know. And take it out, please. Okay. So we can compare it now. Yes. This is the position when you're clapping the teeth. It's a neutral. It's a neutral situation. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try to snow with the mouth open? Is it okay? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Do it open? Yeah, it's more closed. Yeah. It's closed and completely. And the, the closure is, is more complete. Mm -hmm. So this is when you know, comparing the device and the open situation, there is a the difference, but it is not a zero one situation, but a zero. Doctor, if she was lying back, would it be different? Mm -hmm. Of course. Do you want of to course. Bring it each other? 
which I cannot do. No. Oh. But I would like to do it. But mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, this chair is um, uh, has vertical position. Yes. So this is important to have the vertical, no, the vertical chair. And now the hor the horizontal chair. That's right. No, we could move to another chair. Oh. Yeah, but uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, we can. It's, it's not possible. It's not possible. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice no. day. No. Bye. No. <laughs> Please uh, put your uh, your mandible forward, mandible forward, and mandible back. And uh, make mark your teeth yeah, together. Your teeth. Yes, and mandible forward oh. and back. Bite your teeth. Mandible forward and back. So forward and back. Forward and back. And back your teeth, please. Okay, now. Put the vacuum activator. Okay, please put negative pressure and breathe. And breathe. Mm -hmm. Nice, how working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see? So. More than a dress month, almost. Or a dentist life. Amazing. During Breathe deeply. Okay, very good. And open your mouth. And, uh, mm -hmm. and please activate it. And breathe deeply. Activation. So. And put your, uh, your mandible forward. Mandible forward. It's difficult to do, eh? Mm -hmm. And activate again. What is this here? It's on the back of the throat. Yeah, I know, but yes. it looks uh, like a uh, scar or something. No, this no it's not a scar. No, this is only no, irregular. Uh -huh. Have you had a um, adenectomy? Hmm? I've done the, the tonsil or... Mandula tibetic, or toric mandula, or toric mandula. Remove? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yes. The, the, so the it's tonsil. Maybe it's a scar. It's a scar. It's a scar. Okay. I think we are fine. Put it, put the splint, please. The, the splint. Where is the splint? In the, in the, uh, the box. It's still uh, okay? Yeah. Fine. Don't forget to ask her to uh, imitate a snore. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can imitate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do. Yeah, okay. This, uh, With the mouth open or the mouth closed? Shut. Mouth, mouth closed? Yeah, mouth closed. Okay. What happened? And this one, which is white there, it's like a septum or... It's scar. Yeah. No, this here is the scar. No, yeah. no, this is, this um, is only... Uh, no, it's something else. It's scar. It's scar. scar. So this is the situation with the splint. Mm -hmm. Try to... Uh, try to snore. Again. Okay. And make the outlook maneuver. What yeah. is an outlook okay. one? Yeah. Yeah. Swallow. No, no, yeah. oh. no. Please. Swallow and keep your tongue up. Swallow. It is. Could you please uh, put this uh, device uh, before? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
perfect so piece of kind to make uh, to activate the negative pressure and breathe Could you so at least we have all the value here. This is the, the position. I will, sh I will share you how my... No, no, but if you're in your way, it's very important to have this image. Mm -hmm. okay. And breathe quietly. Breathe quietly. Okay? It depends on the position, on the position of the scope. Mm -hmm. Now, how the... Oh, the airway can be not so. Can she try to snore? Okay. With the splints and... It's a okay. bit breaking. Okay. Okay. okay, try to snore again. Last one. And open... Please, open your mouth. And you know, clap your teeth. That's impossible. Okay, I know. And take it out, please. Okay. So we can compare it now. Yes. Yeah. This is the position when you're clapping the teeth. In a narrow, in a narrow situation. Mm -hmm. What if she tries to smell with the mouth open? Is different? Yes, maybe, maybe. Please open. Yeah, it's more close. Right? Yeah. It's closing okay. completely. And the, the closure is, is more complete. Mm -hmm. So this is when uh, comparing the device and the open situation, there is a, a difference, but it is not a zero one situation, but a gradual. And Doctor, if she was lying back, of would course. it be different? Mm -hmm. Of course. You want of me course. to move the chair back? The chair cannot be moved. Oh, okay. I would like to do it. But, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, this chair is... Um, uh, has vertical position. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is important to have the vertical, mm -hmm. uh, the vertical check. And the now horizontal check. The, hor the horizontal check, that's right. Now, we could move to another chair. Oh. Yeah, but uh, okay. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not possible. Yeah. It's not possible. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, really, thank you very much. Have a nice yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you could see is the uh, elevation of the of the vellum during the maneuver. And uh, the snoring in your case, it cannot be completely stopped. Mm. Can, cannot be con so there is a part of uh, snoring which uh, uh, has to do with the pharyngeal uh, anatomy in the lower part of the, of the throat. Mm. The, the lower part of the throat consists of the, the lateral the muscles and the, this... Uh, the tissue, the tissue, the lateral tissue, is still uh, is still uh, mobile. Mm -hmm. So uh, the effect which uh, you will have from the from the stent will uh, be possible when using a maximum of protrusion. Mm -hmm. So uh, the stent like in front. Yeah, for this thing. Uh, this could be could be shown during the protrusion that the the, the airway was uh, rea reacted in a very good on the protrusive uh, action. Yes. So I <coughs> I suggest that <coughs> that this uh, splint uh, will it should be activated in a <coughs> some stronger um, elastics. Strong with strong elastics, just for two or three millimeter more. To, to use the protrusion instead of uh, only uh, leaving it uh, in the mid range. Okay. And uh, if we say that uh, the, the other part of the musculature should be uh, strengthened, does it mean that uh, the KG uh, sound exercises mm -hmm. would, would help? The sound exercise, the, I'm, I'm sure that this exercise is 
So, so not, the, not the, uh, the veil. So the veil not. The, the, the side walls. The side, the lateral parts. The lateral parts. So this is this is an area which cannot be reached with lasers, for instance, with photographers. No. You can do some laser surgery. No, no, no. I, I photon is not surgical. So it's no. like uh, just for photo, photo. to get more tonus. Yes, uh, uh, but uh, the uh, the yes. laser is bulky, so, so it cannot reach the side walls. No, mm -hmm. no. The lateral part of the of the pharynx may, cannot be expanded by muscles. It's a soft and connective tissue. This is this is an anatomical no, constant factor, and it only can be no, influenced by removing no, such uh, such epithelial uh, tissue. But uh, it is not uh, it is unnecessary. I would not recommend it. Because uh, the airway is uh, generally not obstructed, but uh, the mobility of the, of the pharyngeal walls compared to the velum has an, uh, in fact is a fact relative uh, no, no, no. a relative high factor. But uh, the velum itself is uh, mobile and the lateral. No, the lateral walls contribute more than the velum to the traditional. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. so Thank you very much. <coughs> really, please, I think that the protrusion, the maximum protrusion helps. Uh, helps. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. that it helps when it comes. Yes. This is what the endoscopy gives as an inflammation. Right, okay. So Thank you. Uh, you may change. The degree of you know, protrusion, and you also may use instead of the elastics, mm -hmm. the, the rigid, mm -hmm. the rigid um, connection. Connections. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, please uh, inform me about the um, about your success. Okay. Now, you have got my email. Uh, we had some uh, mutual correspondence. <coughs> and we also may communicate by, uh, by WhatsApp. Okay. Yes. I, I want to know uh, how you react with, the, with this uh, type of protrusion. And, uh, it can be uh, even uh, more protruded, but uh, uh, with the good support of the temporal mandibular joint. And I'm sure that you will have no no, no complaints concerning your, your GMJ. Yeah. Do you sense? have any uh, records, okay. Gabor? Thank you records so much. Of what? Like <laughs> no Gabor. Look. Any questions? Any? Any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Time for the question. So vertical. Uh, so the, the American colleagues uh, who do sleep dentistry say that uh, not the sagittal but the vertical is the one that you can uh, add if you need to uh, increase the effect of the intraoral clients. The vertical I think is, uh, is not, use, not useful because the vertical, you know, if, you need, uh, if you need a lot of space, okay, you may just um, increase the vertical but uh, the, 
opening and closing movement from the unfortunately yeah, yeah, she's gone already and the opening and closure movement of the uh, of the jaw do not influence uh, the potency of the of the, the of the zone where the um, the snarling occurs yeah i i, I do feel that uh, there is a so like like without your answer so, so uh, mm -hmm. i feel a controversial uh, or contrasting uh, giving the patient the ability to seal the lips and yet uh, opening the vertical. So, so opening the vertical makes sense in a deep bite case. So when, when uh, there are multiple missing teeth, uh, multiple restorations and overall of course. Uh, over the years uh, the vertical... Of situation, if, uh, if there is uh, a, a loss of vertical uh, dimension. dimension previously, then it may may give a, uh, uh, may lead us to normal anatomy, normal anatomy. But uh, from the, the internal view, the the, the rotation the, and the, the rotation of the mandible has no influence because the the tissues uh, which uh, are snoring at the moment are parts of the lateral walls of the pharynx. And please uh, explain how the vertical dimension will influence this. Thing. So it's not the velum that's causing the problem. It's, it's not the velum vibrating. The, the velum is part of the part of the game, but uh, there are players. Uh, there are more important players and less important players. And uh, as you could hear, although the velum uh, has been blocked by the uh, activator, uh, there was some noise production and uh, uh, still present. And uh, by exclusion of the vellum, uh, we, can, uh, we can conclude that uh, the lateral wall has the most influence in this special case. Uh, I would have... Uh, uh, we have been pleased to, to uh, analyze this in a horizontal position. Maybe we have another volunteer for five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 